I think I even go to Lichtenstein. I do on Lichtenstein. Now we're in the Swiss Alps. Ito maganda, puna ko ka Swiss Alps. Everybody, Ay, tapos na. Ha? Ito na tayo? The second. Saan ba to? No, just stay, di ba? Let's just see if they come out. What? Nipa. No, no, no. Under section one. Where are you from? Where are you from? Mommy, could I play in the snow? Mommy, could I play in the snow? Oh, my God. We're not actually here. Come on. Let's see if they come out. Ski, give me a ski slope. Okay, okay, that's all. Look, there's no baby. Can you sit down here? Look, see the book. Fix me your hands, mom. Come, come. There's no baby. There's snow there, oh. We're gonna play in the snow. I hope so. Yeah, there is snow. But they didn't even lose out. Oh, wow, nice, oh. Look at that. Parang isa alad sa Great Wall. Hindi yung may kwantis daw ba? Hindi yung may cable. May cable tayo. It looks like vanilla ice cream. Engelberg. Oh, my cute boy. I can't remember what I said. Great one. It's a touch China. Great one. Oh, my God. 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 Mom, Dad. I'm going to cable time. Mom, Dad. Come on. 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 Alaga ko ng Strasbourg. Strasbourg, yes. It's a school reunion. 
Transport. their school. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky because Paris was a bit, I think, uh, yes. The day, the day that we went to Strasbourg in Notre Dame, yes. it was the day Notre Dame yeah, in Paris. Uh, I think the whole city was like closed. Or yes, you know, yes. I mean, you couldn't go to sightseeing. Yes. So. <laughs> because of the fire? Yeah, yes. because they have to, like, you know, say, uh, mm -hmm. I think they feel like safety to just stay here, you know, not go to the city, but yeah. Somebody here actually has. There's so many people. And now you go where after this? Uh, after Switzerland, you go back to so Frankfurt. 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 And then we go to uh, Vienna, Prague, Budapest, uh, nice. Turkey, and then back home. <laughs> All by uh, bus or car? Uh, train and then airplane from Budapest to Istanbul. It's nice, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's nice. It's, it's a bit city. long already. Vienna is nice. Yes. Yes. You are nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were wondering from what the oh. city is uh, oh. Roger Federer. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 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 i <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
And also, folks, thank you very much for taking the time. Um, it means we can get away fast to get you checked in faster and also helps with yourself. You, you guys, well. you so thank are you very a, much. That, there is definitely a total room that for variety. You and your classmates okay? really love chips. Probably get this early. It's very simple, made entirely of wood, using three wooden gears as a mechanism, stone as a weight, with the beam as a balance because pendulum wasn't on at that time, and using just one hand. So that means you have to do some guessing sometimes, there is no mini hand. You could have been late for work 20 minutes and no one would know. <laughs> also had to be one up twice in a day, every 12 hours. So this then was the first generation of the clocks. Now, it took them around 100 years to come up. We, second generation, we call them painted faces or shield clocks because of the shape of the shield. So you can see we have two metal hands now, it's easier to read the time. Two metal weights instead of stone weights. Pendulum makes it more precise. And for the first time, we're gonna have cuckoo inside, right? Now keep in mind this was around 1720s. So back then, this was high tech. Like your iPhone, Samsung, whatever that you can focus So they start experimenting with new figurines and new movements. So you can see this poor guy working in the workshop and the lady behind him. The lady is holding something like this. <laughs> so let's see what happens if he's not working hard enough. Every hour and every half an hour she gently encourages him to work hard. Right? Also we call this one mother-in-law clock. <laughs> okay. Here we have a dumpling eater. Every half an hour he's gonna eat one dumpling. Then 11 o'clock he's gonna get 11 pieces. So, all three of those, they make second generation. Nowadays, we have something more complicated like this. A lot of carving, a lot of details, because we have animals now. To make something like this, it takes around six to eight weeks. So, let's say roughly around two months. Also, you notice we have three weeks here. Over there, just two. So, what is the difference? We're gonna hear it in a moment. 
So 11 o'clock, we're going to have 11 times Google to tell us the time, right? You also notice the dancers in the top, but today it's in music. Okay. It's a little bit loud in the shop, so you might not be able to hear it at the back over there. But basically, each way has its own function. One for the cookie, one for the dog, one for the music. You see just two ways, like over there, there's no music inside. So let's see how they're made. First, we need wood. Wood is it's called lime wood, or maybe not as a bass wood. Linden wood, it's all the same, very soft, very good for carving. But first, we gotta cut it in pieces and let it dry for around four years before we start using it. Otherwise, when we start to carve, Split. Then we cut it in smaller and thinner pieces, put the stencil against the wood spray to get outlines. So this is the first time using a machine to cut the edges, and to rest the center. So after the machine we will get rough frame. Now we can start carving. The tools we are using for carving, chisels similar to these ones, they are roughly around 40-45 different sizes, then we have 20-25 different carving knives. But there is one special tool we tend to use occasionally. It's this one on the You know what we use it for? We call it inspiration, sir, but you were very close. <laughs> <laughs> so, with a little bit of right tools and uh, inspiration, you get some of the Now we can make some decorations. We can make some, let's say, rabbits or a dead rabbits. <laughs> put them there on the side. Or basically, we're print. So take a case. Not print to the case. Simple decoration on the top. And we get simple tradition. Cool. But we are not yet done yet. Let's see what we have inside. This thing here, it's called music box. And this is the only part that is not made here in Germany. It's important for people. I will let you hear it, but it's not so loud. Switzerland. Switzerland. Okay. But you can barely hear it, right? Yeah. You know why? Because it came from Switzerland. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so let's see when I touch it to the wall. It's such good friends. Nothing. Yeah. Is there any better? Any? Listen yeah. to this. I call it magic. You know what we call this magic? Made in Germany. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, it is working as an amplifier. Right? The music box so resonates the sound as an amplifier. Exactly. So the more thinner the wood is, nicer sound we're going to get. Also inside, we have mechanisms. We have two different types. One day and eight. Day. So one day you can see these two on my right side. And eight day, these two on my left. Also notice difference between this two on the edge and this two in the middle. There's a disc on the top. Why is that? Exactly. This is what the people are dancing. So that means these two mechanisms are going to have one of these music boxes extra attached. So, how do we get cuckoo sound? Well, now something girls are going to enjoy. So, we have these bells. So this is combination of nylon and cotton. Air is going to the bell, getting out to this whistle inside. It makes a sound. You have another one with a different tone. You put them together. And that's how we get the cuckoo sound. By the way, you can see the picture of the cuckoo bird right over there. And this here answers the question, why the cuckoo bird? Initially, they wanted to imitate the rooster, but to imitate the rooster in the 1720s, the mechanism was about this big. So you can't really implement that into one of these clocks. So the cuckoo bird was most common bird here in the Black Forest, and it was very easy to imitate during just two tones. So for different sizes of the clocks, we have different bellows, bigger ones with a deeper sound. And the smaller ones with the baby cuckoo sound. Also, every clock has a switch at its side. This is nighttime mode. During the night, clock still runs, but there is no cuckoo. In the morning, put the switch back and put this back. So you don't have to shoot it anymore, right? <laughs> All in all, here in the shop, we have around 100 clocks. All of them, they have two years international warranty. We have service stations all over the world, right? Where do you come from? California. Sorry, California? Philippines. 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 Philippines, okay. I think we do That's have one in Philippines. I'll check it right really? now. Philippines. No, but we have we have something close. Uh, so we have one in Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, <laughs> two in Thailand, one in Taiwan, Vietnam. Anything close to you? Hong no, really. No. But basically you you could possibly <laughs> ship it to one of these places and then we fix it. For you. So you don't have to ship it all the way back to Europe. We also ship them worldwide. We have 36 euros for the shipping charges and they're flat. So you can ship as much as you want for 36 euros, regardless of the size or the weight. So there we thank you for attention. Have a nice time. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you guys.